Hi, I'm Barry Slaughter Olson, VP of Client Success at Kudo. If you're preparing to join your first meeting on Kudo, then you're in the right place. In this short video, we'll focus on some simple steps to help you join your first meeting on Kudo. So let's get started. Good audio is the most important part of a successful online multilingual meeting. When meeting attendees and interpreters can hear you clearly and you can hear others clearly too, your meeting is set up for success. So first, let's talk sound. Your best option is a headset, which includes both headphones and a boom mic that puts the microphone close to your mouth for the best sound transmission. Hands down, a headset is the best way to participate in a KUDO meeting if you're joining individually from a computer. That's why we recommend it. If you don't have a headset, your next best option is a set of earbuds with an inline microphone, particularly if you are connecting using the KUDO Live app on a smartphone or tablet. There are other ways to connect, of course, like using the built-in microphone and the speakers on your laptop. However, this makes it harder for you to hear what is being said, and more importantly, it makes it more difficult for the others on the call to hear you. So although it is an option, it is not ideal. With your headset plugged in, it's time to go to the KUDO test page. And we have a detailed video on that, and you can click in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and go to that video if you haven't seen it yet. Once you've confirmed on the test page that your webcam, speakers, and microphone are all connected and working, well, it's time to join the meeting. The meeting organizer will send you a link to join the meeting. This could come in a number of ways. It could be by email, it could be a calendar invite, or even via text. Click on the link, which will take you to the KUDO login page for the meeting. Enter your name and email address and click Join Meeting. As an additional layer of security, your session may require a five-digit PIN code. The meeting organizer may include it with the original invite that you receive or may provide it separately just before the meeting. And with that, you'll be in the meeting. But since this is your first time on KUDO, you'll need to approve access to your webcam and microphone. Remember, you can join a KUDO meeting using the Google Chrome, Firefox, or the new Microsoft Edge browser. Once you are in the meeting, you can adjust your preferred language for the KUDO interface. Enter your video and audio settings. Just click on Setting. That's the round button located in the lower part of the screen with the gear icon on it. At the beginning of any meeting, you'll likely start by selecting your preferred language channel. To do this, go to the lower left-hand corner of the screen and click on the language selector. A pop-up list will appear and you select your language of choice from that pop-up list and you'll be able to listen to the meeting in that language. Feel free to speak in that language as well. You can change the language you are listening to at any time during the meeting. The floor option lets you listen to the original audio of the person who is speaking. Here's one more important point to keep in mind. KUDO offers two types of meetings, open and request to speak. An open meeting allows all participants onto the meeting's virtual floor as soon as they connect to the platform which means that everyone can turn on their camera and microphone whenever they choose. As a general rule, open meetings work well for small groups of 10 people or less. Requests to speak or moderated meetings are far more common on KUDO, as almost all multilingual meetings use this format. Just like in face-to-face -face meetings where participants request to speak and are then recognized in order by the chair or the moderator of the meeting, on KUDO, participants request to speak by clicking on the Request to Speak button, 
which is located in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Then they wait to be given access to the meeting floor. Until then, your microphone and camera buttons will be grayed out and you won't be able to turn them on. Once you have been granted access to the floor, you can then turn on your camera and microphone to speak. When your camera and microphone are on, these buttons will turn blue. Once you finish speaking, you can click on the release mic button in the lower right hand corner and that will have you leave the floor. When you do, your camera and microphone will become inactive again. So if you wish to speak again during the same meeting, just click on request to speak again and wait for the meeting moderator to give you the floor. Do you still have questions? Then be sure to join me for another video about how to have the best meeting experience on Kudo.